talk about this new initiative that uh, uh, we call the Least Developed Countries Universities Consortium on Climate Change, or LUCCC, LUC for short, and frame it a little bit in the context of work that we've been doing over many years in IID and then now with ICAD in support of the Least Developed Countries group. As you probably know that for many years IID, when I was here before and now uh, under Achala, um, is supporting the least developed countries in the international negotiations on climate change. We do a lot of capacity building, training, uh, mentoring, support, technical support uh, in the negotiations themselves. We've been doing that for many years. But since we now have a, an agreement called the Paris Agreement that was agreed uh, a couple of years ago in Paris, we are now shifting the focus to implementing the agreement, no longer just negotiating what goes into an agreement, but how do we implement that and implement it on the ground. And so in the Paris Agreement, we have a very important article, uh, which is a new article, it's called Article 11 of the Paris Agreement, which is specifically on capacity building. And it was a little bit of a controversial article in the negotiations because the developed countries weren't interested in having it. We, the developing countries, were interested in having it. The difference of opinion came from the fact that developed countries were quite happy to continue to support capacity building the way they have been doing it which is to fund international consulting companies to fly into a country, do a workshop, and fly out. This fly-in, fly-out, short-term capacity building is how half a billion dollars has been spent over the last mm -hmm. decade on climate change, so-called capacity building. And we, the developing countries, felt that that wasn't good enough. We needed to build capacity at the national level. And so Article 11 calls for building national capacity building systems at the country level, in all countries, developed and developing, in order to tackle climate change. And no longer just depend on this fly-in, fly-out, short-term consultancy-driven approach. And in response to that, the, uh, we, I've been talking to a number of partners from universities in least developed countries, because every country, no matter how poor, has a university. Bangladesh has more than 100 universities. They exist. Their job is to build the capacity of their the leaders of their country for the next generations to come. And some universities are over a thousand years old. So empires have come and gone and universities have continued. So they are very sustainable institutions whose job is to do capacity building. But nobody's invested in building their capacity to work on climate change, or very few of them. And so that's what we're focusing on. The LUC initiative starts with a group of 12 countries and 12 universities from least of our countries. We will reach out to the other countries, there are 47 total um, uh, LUC countries, or least developed countries, and it's an official South-South initiative of knowledge exchange of the least developed countries group, with our patron being Gabriel Jemba, who is the current chair uh, from Ethiopia of the LDC group. We have no funding for this, we, we've decided to just develop it ourselves, and we have a work plan which we call a plan A and a plan B. Plan A is what we can do with no external funding, and we've started doing that already, exchanging information, developing our young uh, um, students' programs, etc. And a plan B, which we would require funding for, which we're trying to raise funding.